it's Sunday evening, um, early evening, I guess. Um, we have about an hour before we go bowling. Our families are on a bowling league together. I say our families, I admit two different teams because there's only a team of four and we're a five person family. So every other Sunday we bowl and um, Mark's dad comes out from Jackson and he bowls with the boys and Mark and then me, Aspen, my mom and one of her friends bowl on another team. They're like one of the best teams that bowl and I think my team is one of the worst. I don't know, it's a lot of fun though. It doesn't start till seven so it's rather late but it's a nice thing to do every other Sunday together. Um, we just got back a little bit ago from the RV show in Grand Rapids. We just went looking. That was so fun. Um, it was a little bit of reminiscing for us because um, we used to have an RV about, I'd say five years ago, maybe more. Um, we had it for about 12 years, I would say. This was before I was pregnant with Aspen, so a long time. And every year for about 10 to 12 years, we would... Um, travel for two weeks in the RV and those are just some awesome memories that we had. We've gone to a lot of places in the United States that usually when people want to travel they want to go out of the United States but you don't realize that we have so many awesome things here in this country like we've been to Mount Rushmore, we've been to Mammoth National Caves, we've been to the Outer Banks in one of the Carolinas, Hilton Head, um, where else have we been? One of my favorites was Yellowstone. That was like probably awesome. And my least favorite part was Old Faithful. That was actually boring, but all the stuff around Yellowstone was really cool. Like all the, what are they called, geysers? I don't know, like the mud boiling and stuff. Um, I don't know, we've just done some awesome trips with the RV and it, it was just fun for us all to like sit in them in the campers and just reminisce about those times. And just for fun, we would have Nicholas get in some of them and see, because that was another reason why we got rid of it is because our kids were getting older and it was getting hard to fit. So we had Nicholas, who's like 6'2", get up in some of the little beds. <laughs> so that was quite funny. Um, and then I, it's my so exciting thing today. I booked our spring break trip, which we're going on a cruise and I just love to travel, so I'm so excited. Um, and uh, we're going with some of Aspen's friends' family. And then when she called me, because she was excited that I booked, she told me about all these other people are going. So it's gonna be like this party cruise for us, I guess, which we haven't done that in a long time. And like I said, I'm just excited because it'll be good for me, again, to like, meet people and Aspen's been begging for me to be friends with some of her friends moms and I just think this will be a good thing for all of us to just it'll like we'll be with a group but we'll be on our own too where we can just do our family stuff but um yeah it, it'll just be it's, it's just I've just got to like I, I keep saying in these videos I've just got to put myself out there more because if I can just branch out and put myself out there and become more comfortable. It's not that I want to be, it's not that I don't like myself as an introvert, I do. I can't imagine myself being an extrovert and I don't want to change that about myself. But I just need to be able to be okay when I'm not able to be in my introvert um, positions. Like I need to be comfortable when I'm in a situation where I can't be my introverted self. So I really, really need to do that so that I can be a big boss <laughs> basically anyway so I'm super excited for that and um yeah I was like I went up to Mark I'm like thank you thank you thank you because he said yes so um he, he usually always says yes but you know when they say yes because it's like they have to and when they say yes because they just want to make you happy and I know he said yes because he just wanted me to be happy so I'm super happy and excited and can't wait anyways would love to hear what everybody else is doing for spring break and if you're looking for something to do you can come with us i'm pretty certain it's going to be a great time we 
did something similar like a long time, like five years ago for New Year's Eve. We rented a room with like a whole bunch of people rented a room in a place with all the kids and everything. It was like one of the most fun New Year's I've ever had. So I imagine that um, this is kind of be, gonna be like that, but seven days of it. So we'll see how we do. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, and I'll be in touch this week. Bye.